Hey, I've been thinking about joy quite a bit lately. Listen to what it says in Romans 14, 17. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy. Joy is a, a commodity of the kingdom. It's a, it's a characteristic of the eternal kingdom of God and therefore needs to be a characteristic of God's people. Nehemiah said that the joy of the Lord is in fact our strength. You know, we've been um, going through some difficulty in our church lately. We've, we've lost some people to death, to tragedy. And, um, and it's really caused me to reflect upon what is true joy. In the midst of all this, a good buddy of mine, Brian Nickens, he, he gave me a prophecy. Um, and Brian is real gifted um, in that realm. And, and the Lord spoke to his heart. And I just want to read it to you because something happened uh, recently in our church that I think connects to this prophecy directly. Listen to what it says concerning joy. Here's the prophecy, quote, you must shift the winds, introspective heart and soul searching will only darken the waters, but joy and gladness and even laughter will work like medicine. Your gatherings are to be a time to check out of the world and ignore what the devil is doing. Turn your eyes on Jesus, your blessed hope, forgetting what is behind even five minutes ago. When you feel the urge to turn the service focus toward those who are hurting, do the opposite, rejoice, be glad with those who are rejoicing. Greg, you will see a rise in your sense of humor. It will in turn affect your praise, um, your songwriting. Listen, joy, the prophecy goes, is coming to Lighthouse. Now let me tell you what happened this Sunday at the celebration service. We go through the service and, and, and go through our sermon in Romans and, and, uh, and, and we're launching into the, the last worship session and, and, and I feel this, this, this sense of joy in the house. There's just this sense of, boy, people just wanna, they just wanna let loose. And, uh, and surely it, it really did let loose. We, we launched into what was the, the final song of the set and there was laughter. There was people laughing. There were, were people um, singing at the top of their lungs and dancing and, and, and there was just, uh, it was a joy bomb that just exploded in the room. Listen, God is serious about joy and we need to be as well. God is working for our joy. Listen, Christian, whether you're in, in a valley or on a mountaintop, joy isn't tethered to your circumstance, it's rooted in God. Let your joy be in the Lord.